Michelle, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Guess he knows it's feeding time. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Oh, God. Again. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. 
You don't get all pissed off. God. Are you all right, sis? Yeah, I just, you, you caught me at a bad time. That's all. Bad time? What's up? It's the walkers. I guess they got a hold of a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was, it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on. We gotta find Roman. This mob. It's okay to be bad. Jeez. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time, we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him but on his what way. what if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger... We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. That is strange. That doesn't mean anything. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. And all because some stranger lied and told us he had medicine. Can't trust nobody. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, we'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Fuck you, Roman. Shell, come on. Roman's right. We need to protect ourselves first. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Uh, fine. I guess this is what we have to do. There's gotta be another way. Tell me. What if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus. There really is no other choice, is there? We can't keep him here. We can't let him go. Let's mop them. If there's even it's a so chance of him coming back, telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens?
go fish. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Roman? Good. You're here. What's this all about? It's Stephanie. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Now she's a risk. Do you know where she was going? What her plans were? No. She had a bag with most of our ammo and medicine in it. Damn it. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. Now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You said that next time it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. You weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. Now I need to know that you're with us. A hundred percent. I'll do it. I don't really have a choice, do I? You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Fine. Go ahead. No! 
Roman said he wants you to do it. I'll do it when it's my turn. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell. Time. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Sorry. Me too. 